YouTube. So I uh, painted jams and also demasked the car because I want to redo my masking and not use the blue tape because, well, the blue tape peels up and paint manages to get underneath it. So, and I had masked off my car before three days of 100% humidity and it was all lifting up everywhere. So I tried my best to smooth it down and that wasn't adequate. So I got some blow throughs. So not happy about that. And I also had shot action shots of me spraying everything and uploaded it to YouTube. So like, okay, it's up to YouTube. And I deleted off my phone. And then YouTube blew up and said, oh, uh, your video sucks and failed. So I lost it. So anyway, on we go. So what did I end up with? I am happy with how the paint laid out. It's a little orange peely, but not as orange peely as uh, the door was or underneath the deck lid or the hood. So hood bolts, yep. And uh, you know the sides of the doors. And I did that thing under there. And parts where the trim will cover. And, well, jams over here are going to be easier to see. So, I did the parts that are not going to be visible. And these and this will get painted at the same time. I experimented with the feather back tape. And that seemed to go very well. No hard edge at all, so I'll do the same thing in reverse when I go this way. So the edge will be somewhere in there. According to my evil plan, anyway. So, no runs. Let's see if focus will happen here. Just not bad at all. Is that reflection or, yeah, the shadows. I was like, oh, it looks thin there. No, it's the shadow. So, nice. I am pleased. So I'm going to get more of this on Sunday. And uh, like that. So I still have to prep the rest of the car. You know, sanding. This still has to be, that's... Primer with guide coat on it, so as is a bunch of the rest of the car. So got a bunch of sanding to do, but I got this stuff out of the way so that I can put my doors on, the deck lid and the hood, and get everything sprayed all at once from the same batch of paint so it all matches. That's the plan.